who aren't even going to King's but are wanting to come to London should just check this out. Hi guys and welcome back. So I thought I'd do an extra video this week for any incoming King students and also for any current King students or any King's alumni who want to comment their experiences in uh, the comment section below. I thought that could be quite helpful. Even if you don't go to King's, this might still be quite interesting just to see what our freshers is like, especially as King's goes all out. So I'm going to be covering topics about the welcome app, the inductions that you have to do, how to collect your King's ID, um, nightclub and freshers events and also freshers fair. So I don't think many unis actually have a dedicated welcome app, but King's does. Um, and if you haven't downloaded it already, it's called the Welcome to King's app. So on the tab section, they have the My Schedule bit. And this is where you'll create all of your timetabling for the next two weeks, basically. So the first tab is the ID card collection. So I went under the UK EU EEA student ID card collector. And as you can see, every day for two weeks, they have slots where you can go and collect your ID cards. I would definitely recommend doing it early because it's a great excuse to go to Bush House and see what it's like before there are loads of students there. It's such a beautiful building. All you have to do to add this to your schedule is just click the plus button and it will be added. Um, of course, I'm not going to do that, so I will unplus everything at the end of this video, but just to show you what the schedule will look like once you've signed up for all the stuff you can. What's really useful on the app is that it tells you what to bring. It was really quick when I went in to do it. I think it takes maximum two, three minutes. You're in the queue longer than you are actually sitting down. Um, they just click through all your information, just make sure that you're the right person and then they just print this out from one of their cool card making machines and you're good to go. You get a blue lanyard, last year we got a light blue lanyard but I've got a little card holder from Paper Chase that has all of my other library cards and stuff in it so rather than having 10 lanyards around my neck I've just got one card holder. Underneath the ID card collection they've got all the inductions. So I was of course um, undergraduate and then I went to the King's Business School so you do whichever department you're in. Then you'll see the list of all the business degrees so you just have to find the one that you are going for so I found the economics and management one after that you'll see that at 5 o'clock to 7 30 there is the welcome reception which is on the eighth floor so there'll most likely be free food and free drinks and stuff like that I remember that's where my friend Omar came up to me and Janica and said hey so it's definitely worth going up there afterwards hi guys editing me in here just to let you know if you are a business school student then you have to attend the undergraduate faculty induction on the Monday which is from 10 till 12 that will be in the Bush House auditorium and then on the Wednesday the 18th there's another undergraduate introduction to careers then they have the welcome events these are amazing these are so worth going to so you can either see them all or filter them by campus or by type they've got a figure drawing event a welcome week zumba at bush house they've got the media suite open day so if you're interested in film music tv broadcasting then you definitely should sign up to go there for a couple of hours just to see it they also have really helpful things like the part-time work fair they often have lots of events for the same thing so even if one session has run out you'll probably find it a following day if you can't fit it into your schedule or maybe like next week or something like that so just make sure that you look I remember last year I went to the internship networking night which they have again on the Thursday there's a Somerset House historical highlights tour they didn't have this last year but I would definitely do that because Somerset House is really really beautiful it's just next to the Strand building if you're a law student you'll be in one half of it but the other half is a museum where you often have to pay to get in so you might as well go see it for free there is a film fest a taster session there's the banking finance and consulting fair which I would have done also Farah who is the editor-in-chief of Elle is doing a session. She's a King's alumni and she's really empowering as a woman and it was really good so I would definitely recommend that you go see that. They've got a couple move-in parties so the hall wars so these are quite good again just to meet people um, once you've moved in just to um, break the ice. They're held in the vault as well which is a really nice place. You often get pub quizzes there weekly, um, really cheap drinks, it's a nice environment, it's really safe, cosy, fun. They've got a 10-minute IT talk where you can see all the free software you can get um, so being at King's you're allowed all of the office stuff on up to 15 devices so you might as well go to that. Something that I would sign up to if I could would be the Women Entrepreneurs Program Networking. This is um, in line with the Entrepreneur Institute again. If you're in the business school you will sign up for them. They have so many great events on and it's very useful. So this year they have mindfulness and last year they had yoga. They also had the boat tour along the Thames which I couldn't find. The welcome checklist is so helpful. You have your my to-do list which you can basically add things, add your own things like buy your bedding but you can add in all of the things that they remind you that you need to do before you arrive so for example setting up your ID account uploading your photo for your King's ID card that's 
always stressful because that will stick with you for your next three or four years or however long your course is. It also reminds you to get things like the meningitis ACWY vaccination, that's very important. Then they've also got a when you arrive checklist, so they have register with your doctor. I believe on floor three of Bush House there is like a GP section, I've been there a couple of times, it's like an NHS one that you can just drop in. Get your student rail card or Oyster, would definitely recommend doing this. Um, a 16 to 25 rail card you can actually get free for four years if you sign up with the Santander bank I believe if you get a student account with them otherwise I think it's like 20 30 pounds a year maybe it's definitely worth it if you're going to be tubing and commuting in each day um, because it takes a third off your rail card you can use that on your oyster and on any train journeys so if you're going to go see friends and other parts of the country then definitely do that then it has the first week checklist so it's got your stuff like pay tuition fees locate the libraries meet your personal tutor that's something that's quite fun quite interesting you often first meet your personal tutor in a big group they'll email you and then say hi guys we're gonna do a big group meetup and then you maybe get I had about 10 people um, in one group meeting my personal tutor and then we wrote out a form and like filled in some information about us and then you have your own private meeting with your personal tutor they're there to just help you with any problems that you have and at the end of your uni they'll most likely write your reference for any companies and stuff like that. Another thing that you should definitely do is create your career connect profile so this is really good because from there you can see all of the internships and stuff that King's has. You can get a meeting with Kate Woods who will help you with your CV, she'll help you with all of your kind of things, she's the um, careers advisor for King's. Also through there you can sign up for LinkedIn headshots that they do, they did that for King's business students and that was really helpful in the first week although I did not look as good as I should have done therefore I haven't actually used that LinkedIn profile photo but a lot of my friends have. Register to vote is an important one and sign up to King's Move as well. So with King's Move they basically give you points for as much exercise as you do. I've been doing this for since January I've been doing it and currently I'm on 5,500 points or so and at 8,000 points you can get a free King's hoodie um, and that is what I've been striving for this whole summer. I've been going on runs just so I can get this hoodie it's a nice hoodie as well. Then they've got the opportunities at King's which they didn't have before but it's actually really interesting. So they've got stuff like get involved in sustainability at King's. You can even apply for free and confidential counselling which I didn't even know about. So then they've got the student support section, King's residencies and Discover London. Now this Discover London is so good. Even if you don't go to King's this part of the welcome app is so useful. You can see all of the bargains, all of the deals and the best places to go. They have a very good list of the top 10 museums and places to go so beautiful houses like the Somerset House and the Barbican. I've been to them all and I can confirm they're all lovely places to go if you've got a free day. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the museums are basically free. Then if you go onto the student culture offers this is what you want to know. So the BFI have £3 cinema tickets plus events and film industry opportunities for anyone under 25 years. So all of these things like the Roundhouse Get In and the National Theatre Entry Pass are so cool. I'm going to be signing up for the National Theatre Entry Pass because I didn't know about that. Um, and then they've got the Young Vic £10 tickets. A few of my friends were signed up to the Tate Collective already because they had an exhibition on Van Gogh there for £5. It's so good. Then they split it up into the different campuses. So I would go on to the Strand campus and they just tell you about some of the nice places around there like the parks and the museums. They do have a whole section on green spaces which is quite nice especially in London that you don't think there are that many but there are. The one that I've been to the most is probably Lincoln's in Fields. So that is by the Strand campus. It's a really nice place to go eat lunch especially when it gets a bit hotter um the green spaces are practically filled. They've got tennis courts there, I think, as well. At the bottom, they mention Hampstead Heath. I've never been there before, but that's nearer where I'm living this year, so hopefully I'm gonna go there. I know it's meant to be really beautiful and very big. I think there are some ponds there. Then they've got a section on food and drink, which is very important. So on the Strand campus, they've got the vegan cafe in Bush House. We're very vegan friendly here in Kings. So even if you're coming to London for a day and you're gonna be around the Strand campus, you might as well check out some of these nice places like Press Coffee on Fleet Street in Chancery Lane um, and then you can bag yourself a discount so at the bottom it says about the North Bank privilege card which I actually do have my sister had it and then she gave it to me it gives you 10% off most of the shops on the North Bank and there is also a South Bank card as well so you can get 10% off there then they've got a section on London's best study spaces so the first one is the Morn Library if you haven't seen my 24 hours in a library video then you'll get to see a bit of an insight of the Morn Library there the round reading room is beautiful but 
even at 3 a.m. there were still people in there so it's quite crammed. You probably won't get a spot during exam season. Senate House Library is just opposite where I was staying last year so if you're staying in College Hall it's great. You might as well. I think I've got my card here actually. This is my Senate House Library card. It's free. You just go in and you show them your King's ID and you just fill in some information. It takes a couple of minutes um, and it is such a beautiful library. So if you're near College Hall definitely sign up to that one. As it says here, it is a beautiful space to work, including a suite of comfy leather sofas on the fourth floor. Then they've got a whole tab on Make a Difference in London, so they have stuff like the Hot Chocolate Society. It's a non-profitable society funded by King's people that are trying to target um, rough sleepers across central London, so that's a really nice thing to do. Then they've got a really handy section for the FAQs. So this is stuff like, how can I apply for a national rail discount? What do I do if I can't attend my induction? So if you can't attend your induction, you should most likely contact your head of department. Um, I know that they do record the first lecture, but it's pretty important that you do go. So it's only if you can't go due to some like medical or some sort of emergency. The induction is compulsory and that's because it's so important. It tells you all the information that you're gonna need for the rest of the year. Then they've got all their social media handles and then the BBC weather, which is actually very important because you need to know whether you're gonna bring an umbrella that day or not. So I got quite a lot of questions about nightclubs and freshers events, so I thought I'd just answer it in one video. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, I didn't buy the wristband. That's because I bought all the tickets that I wanted individually and I got them from the KCLSU official website, but I would recommend um, maybe also waiting until once you've moved in and say if some of your friends already have tickets to go to places then you can hopefully um, buy the same ticket if they've not sold out. Events do sell out quite quickly in London especially during freshers but if you're not sure on what kind of events you want to go to then I'd wait. A few of my friends did buy the wristband and I think it was maybe 60 quid for the two or three weeks but because I know that I can't go out every single night for two or three weeks I will die. It wasn't worth it for me and plus I don't drink. You end up like sitting outside rather than being inside dancing because you can't actually speak to people in a club but it was still good. But also don't worry nightclubs do get a lot cheaper after freshers. I was like there's no way I can be clubbing uh, once a week if it's gonna cost me 20 quid every single time they go down to like three or four pounds five pounds max I don't go past that you can get nights where it's free as well and then we come on to Freshers Fair which is on the 20th to the 21st of September I know because I will be there both days I will be there doing the King's College Choir so if you're interested in a non-auditioning choir and you want to sign up to something then come to our stool we probably will have freebies because every stool will have freebies I'd say just sign up to everything you get so many pens to last you the year you might even get a bag if you're lucky often food um, some water bottles, some stickers, there are a lot of stickers. One society last year, I think it might have been Ukulele Society or something near that area in the art section that was giving out tubs of Ben and Jerry's. What? That's right. I remember there being quite a cool poster stand there as well. So um, if you haven't decorated your room or if you're looking for a cool poster, then you can pick some up there. It would be wrong for me not to mention this, but Freshers is quite overwhelming and it can be quite exhausting. So just make sure that you're taking the time out that you need to because you're meeting a lot of new people, you're signing up to lots of things, but kings are always there to help. If you have any more questions about Freshers, then do leave them in the comment section below. And if you've got any cool stories either, if you did find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for weekly videos and more King's College London vlogs. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.